having reached this position of strength, should we, for the sake of gender equality, now introduce national service for women? I think that is the question that some people have put, put forth. Some propose the idea, this idea during the debate on the white paper, including to deploy these NS female conscripts as nurses or teachers. I think there are distinct pitfalls if conscription is implemented for any other reason than the critical need of military defense, whether it's for men or women. Compared to 1967, when we introduced national service, Singapore remains one of the few countries that NS is accepted, working well, and enjoys strong public support. And the main reason that we have this virtuous state of affairs is that we have kept the mission of national service clearly focused on the critical need for national defense. The societal costs of enlisting women into national service now would far outweigh the benefits. Women will be delayed into their entry into the workforce. The immediate effect will be an accentuated decline in the size of our local workforce and a reduction of household incomes. Even if women are enlisted for non-military national service roles to augment our health care and social services, it may make manpower shortages in other industries worse. Over the long term, it will impose a great cost, not only on women themselves, but also on their families, children and spouses, and society as a whole. Is that cost justified to send a signal or to reverse stereotypes? From the government's perspective, no. I think most Singaporeans would say no too from a security perspective. But if Singapore is ever threatened with an existential threat by an aggressor and have a sudden and great need to boost our military, I am certain that MINDEF and the SAF would call on the government of that day to enlist not only women, but even teenagers and older men into military service to defend and save Singapore.